So today we're going to look at the S225 Pathlight, and here it is just right out of the box. But before we get to it, I want to show you some photos that I took out in my yard, and so you can get an idea how it looks in action, because it looks pretty good. We really like this fixture, and it's very popular with most of our customers. Okay now, let's get right to it. So this is how it usually comes in the box, and we do sell this as an LED fixture. Your box might have a halogen in it, and the factory does that sometimes, not all the time. So if you have the little halogen, um, you're not gonna use it. You can take that away. Uh, the light bulb that we ship usually looks like this. It could look a little different, but this is a um, LED bulb, and this is a sealed unit, and this is one of our favorites. Has great success, and uh, is bright enough, not too bright, for this light fixture. So look for this bulb and let's go through the parts real quick. So it does come with some instructions here. They're, they're vague and general. They're not specific for this fixture, but I don't really think you're gonna need that. So let's take it all apart. I really, I really like this. This is really cool. This is actually made out of glass, has a knob on top and the light bulb is gonna end up in here. But let's take a look at it right now. First of all, the only part that comes apart is this knob here on the top. It has a washer on it and I want to point out something on this knob. It has this little screw in it, and sometimes the screw isn't long enough, but the screw is screwed in. It's a, a double screw, so if it's not long enough, you can unscrew it or screw it in. So it's not really one piece. It's two pieces. It's the top knob, which is threaded, and then the screw, which is screwed into it. So that's kind of important, and we're going to we're gonna get right back to that. And this is this little chamber is kind of cool because it's gonna really protect the LED bulb in there. That makes it really nice if there's a lot of moisture outside. And of course, it does come with this stem and uh, take it out of its plastic here. And on the end of the stem, obviously on one end is threaded and wire and sealed. And on the other end is the socket and the light bulb's gonna go right in these pins. There we go, just like so piece of cake. So the light bulb is going to go in there. Then it's going to screw into this little device. Oops, I kind of hit it when I put it in there. So make sure it's in straight. And we're going to put it in here. We're going to screw this on. So now we have the light bulb in there and we're going to take the cover. The cover's white on the inside, which is good. Helps the light kind of reflect and diffuse out. And it's just a piece of simple spun aluminum. And we're gonna put the little knob here on top. And we're gonna take this, and we're gonna screw these two pieces together. <clears throat> and now we have the fixture assembled, except for the spike. <clears throat> so the spike goes on the other end. Now you gotta thread the wire through the hole. This is a half inch thread, standard pipe screw. Nothing special going on here. Our spikes are really heavy duty. They're not like the ones you buy at that big home improvement store or that mystery stuff you get on the giant, massive online site that sells books, underwear, and landscape lighting fixtures. This is a heavy duty spike. Now, we wanna to talk to you about this. When you put this in the ground, you're not gonna use this as a big lever to get it in the ground. Take a hammer and a piece of metal, I use a piece of conduit, make a pilot hole, make it wide enough, and then put this in the ground in a nice pilot hole that's you know ready to go. If you go cranking on everything, something's gonna give and probably break, especially in the harder soils or soils with a lot of rock. Now it comes with this wire threaded out here, and in some cases, they don't always do it, they put some silicone filled wire nuts, which are fine, and you can go that way. You cut your wire and you're gonna put the nut on it. 
In most cases though, people cut the, the ends off here and they use our little blue connector. That way they don't have to cut their main feed wire. Very, very efficient that way. Very simple and you're not cutting your feed wire and your time is cut in half. It really is the efficient way to go. When you see our blue connector video, and you can find it right here down below in our video series, it'll really help you. And we have videos on everything we sell practically, and videos on troubleshooting for what happens when you get out there and things aren't working the way you want. So anyway, that's all that's to it. The S225 makes a beautiful addition in your landscape lighting project, and at night, your yard will be magical, just like mine. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions on our products, please feel free to ask us. Use this email address for quick communication. Support at TotalLightingSupply.com We answer product questions all day long, Monday through Friday. However, if you ask questions on YouTube, it may be some time before we see it. Our videos are designed as an overview of our products, and we recommend hiring a qualified electrician for your project to ensure a safe installation. And as always, see the description for links to our website. See the product description on our website for important details, as well as updates and specifications. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new product information. We offer information such as this video and a level of service you will not find anywhere else. Consider using us for your project needs. All of us at Total Lighting Supply hope to hear from you soon.